Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I am IATF qualified auditor. I am doing audit for the automotive sector for the last 18 years. I am again back with a very very interesting topic. What is the key difference between MTTR and MTBF? Mean time to repair and mean time between failure. And we all know that these two are very very important and the basic indicators for any industry to see the health of their equipments. To give a simple example about it, now these days internet is a basic lifeline for all of us. Now if you see that in a day how many times our internet connection is getting affected and for how long it gets impacted, that's an indicator with respect to MTTR and MTBF. How many times our internet connection is going down, that's an indicator about mean time between failure and how long it is taking for that internet connection to come back to normalcy is talking to about mean time to repair. Now to talk basically about this particular concept of MTTR and MTBF. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about the basic definition of MTTR and MTBF, how to calculate MTTR and MTBF, what are the key differences between MTTR and MTBF, and what are the real industry challenges that people are facing at the moment. So let me first start with the basic definition of MTTR, mean time to repair. So when we talk about MTTR, our intent is to understand the average time between the repair when the equipment is under breakdown. If we talk with respect to a formula, it's a total time spent for the repairing divided by the number of repairs that we have done. And if we take a simple example, say for example of an injection molding machine, assume that there are three different injection molding machines and they are under breakdown. So two of them were under breakdown say for 15 minutes and the third one was under breakdown for 30 minutes. So the total repair time was 15 plus 15 plus 30, it comes out to be 60. And since there were three different breakdowns, so when we divide by three, that shows 20 minutes. So the average time for repair is 20 minutes. So MTTR comes out to be 20 minutes. Now similarly, let's take an example of MTBF, mean time between failure. So by definition, MTBF is an average time between the failure which can be repaired. As a formula, MTBF talks about the total lifespan across different equipments divided by the number of failures. So if you can take an example with respect to that, so let's again take an example of an injection molding machine which should run for 400 minutes every day and assume that in a month there are 25 days when it should supposed to run. So the total time for which it should run comes out to be 10,000 minutes. Now assume that there were four different breakdowns that happened in a particular month in 25 days. So if you calculate MTBF, so we have to divide 10,000 minutes with four and that comes out to be 2,500 minutes. So that is an MTBF. Now to talk about the key differences between MTTR and MTBF. So let's start with MTTR first. So when we talk about MTTR, it's talk about the, how much low the time is with respect to the repair. That's the whole intent with respect to MTTR. But when we talk about MTBF, our intent is that it should be as high as possible. In a way, MTTR is talking about the efficiency process of the repair and MTBF is talking about the reliability of the equipment, that how much we can rely on a particular equipment. MTTR talks about the time taken to repair a particular equipment, but MTBF talks about the difference between the two different failures that can happen. In one way, you can see that MTTR is talking about the competence of the people who are working on the machine, how quickly they can repair the machine. But MTBF is talking about the effectiveness of the overall maintenance process. In a way, MTTR is talking about the availability of the relevant critical spare parts because unless and until those spare parts are there, we cannot repair the machine and it cannot be started for working. But when we talk about mean time it feel failure, it is talking about the desired quality of those relevant spare parts, that whether those spare parts are of good quality or not. In a way, if you see, we are talking about the turnaround time when we talk about MTTR and we talk about the expected performance when we talk about MTBR. In case of MTTR, we are talking about that we understand that which are the equipment which are taking more time to repair and then we can take some actions on that. And when we talk about MTBF, in a way we are talking about those equipments which are filling regularly so that we 
need to decide that what action needs to be taken with respect to that. The overall objective of monitoring MTTR is to save the money on our bottom line, the overall profitability of the organization. The objective of mean time between failure is to reduce the number of breakdown as much as possible. When we talk about MTTR, in a way we are talking about to identify those critical equipments which are taking much more time to repair than the usual time because those critical equipment can impact the organization in a much more uh, wrong way than other equipments. But when we talk about MTBF, we are talking about those equipment which are regularly under breakdown. In a way, MTTR indicator helps us to identify that whether we should replace a particular equipment which is taking a lot of time for repair or should we continue to do the repair. So a decision has to be taken with respect to that. But when we talk about MTBF, it's basically uh, a tool uh, indicator which helps the design process and the in the different stages of product production to see that what needs to be done with respect to that. Overall, if you see when we talk about MTTR, it is talking about the prediction about the life cycle cost of a new equipment or in a particular system. But when we talk about MTBF, it's helping us to predict the requirement of the replacement part that how often we need that replacement part. If I talk about some of the key challenges that industry is facing with respect to the maintenance process or MTTR and MTBF. So first and the most important thing is how often the organizations are actually calculating MTTR and MTBF. Especially when in IATO 16949, this is one of the key requirements of the process to monitor this. Then secondly, even if we are calculating MTTR and MTBF, how often the data is authentic that can be relied on by looking into the MTTR and MTBF data. And third and the most important thing is how much the top management is interested or going deep into the data with respect to MTTR and MTBF to see the health of the machine and the entire plant. So if I do a summary with respect to MTTR and MTBF, when we talk about MTTR, it should be as low as possible. It measures the efficiency of the repair process. It talks about how much time is taken for repairing a particular equipment. In a way, it reflects the competence of the operator. And it also talks about the availability of the critical spare parts and about the turnaround time. But when we talk about MTBF, it should be as high as possible. It measures the reliability of the equipment. It talks about the difference between the two failures of the equipments. And it, in a way, talks about how effective is our, is our maintenance process. It also talks about that whatever critical spare parts or the available spare parts that you are using, whether they are of good quality or not. And in a way, it's an indicator about the expected performance. My next video will be related to the key difference between preventive maintenance and productive maintenance. Regularly, I'm getting a lot of feedback and they are helping you to understand your expectations and what kind of expectation you are having from these kind of videos. So please do continue that. And in case you want to understand about this video a little bit more, if you click a link below, you'll find a blog there and there you'll find this particular video in much more detail. And in case you are liking these kind of videos and blogs, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and my website bhavyamangla.com. Thank you.